beautiful day and I'm glad it's not raining buckets at Buckets Farm. If there was an audience, they'd be applauding. And today I'm joined with Princess Aria. Very good. Wait, did you say we're at a farm, Captain? We're at a farm. Why do you always bring me to mucky places? I'm wearing a dress. I'm a princess. I'm a poet and I didn't even know I was. <laughs> You're a poet and you didn't even know it. I just said that. Yeah. Today we're here to find our sidekick animal. Do you know what I think your sidekick animal would be? What would it be? I think it would be a cow. Why is that, Captain? Because you like going to the movies. Oh, I thought it was because I'm utterly gorgeous. <laughs> They're very good, very uh, good. Do you know what uh, animal I think your sidekick would be? Something handsome, fearless. A goat. <laughs> Ah, because I'm the greatest of all time. No, Captain, because you need to go to the Marbles. Marbles, very good. It's an old one, but it's a classic. It's a good one. Right, let's go inside. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't realise it was this way. This way, I think it's this way. Oh, over here, over here. Hello, hello, would you like to be my sidekick? Yes, you can come, and you can come, and you can come, yes. And we'll make jumpers for all. <laughs> Do you want to make jumpers for all? Okay. Cheese, cheese, cheese. No, not you, Princess Aria. The pig's called cheese. Oh, well, I'm always ready. <laughs> What's a pig's favourite book? I don't think pigs read, Captain. Hamlet. I don't get it. Hamlet. Oh, to be or not to be. That is the bacon. I did not know that's how it ended. Did you know that pigs have an excellent sense of direction? Oh. That's why they're truffle hunters. Also, pigs are smarter than dogs. Oh. And pigs are very clean. They're clean? Yeah. What's that smell then, Captain? Sorry. Okay, everybody, this is called a muddle up pen, and it's sort of like a preschool for the lambs before they go off into the big old world. I went to preschool. Good to know. So, each lamb has a number on its back, and that number correlates to a U. I don't have a number on my back. No, not you, silly. The lamb, and it's you. What, you? No, not me. The you. A you is an adult female lamb who has given birth. A you. I'm not an adult female lamb that's just given birth. I'm a superhero. Did they not teach you anything at preschool, Captain? I'm still to graduate. That makes sense. What do you think to a goat as a sidekick, Princess Aria? Well, I do like goats, but any time you talk to them, it just goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was cows. Have you ever heard of goat's milk, Captain? Oh, yeah. Did you know they're very easy to train? Oh. They've been domesticated for 10,000 years and they're really good climbers. They can go up almost vertical slopes. Vertical? How do you know so many interesting facts, Captain? Well, it's written here. Oh. Oh, cheeky. It's not a double act. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, it's not a triple act. <laughs> yes. This is Milo. He's the oldest cockerel here on the farm. And he wakes up at the crack of dawn and he lets everyone know by saying cock a doodle doo. Also, he's got very good balance like that. Woo! Princess Aria! Princess Aria! <laughs> Princess Aria! A vertical piano. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, for you guys at home, can you guess what song that was? If you guessed that it was Mary Had a Little Lamb, give yourselves a round of applause. And I'll pretend that round of applause was for me. Captain? Captain? I'm in there. Captain? 
Tip. <laughs> There's only a child in there. Where's the captain? I'm here with Bolt and he's a rabbit and I'm going to find out if he's going to be the perfect sidekick for Captain Fantastic. Okay, Bolt, tell me a fun fact about yourself. Well, my teeth, they just don't stop growing. Wow, you could gnaw us out of some right troubling spots. Uh, what else? Tell me, ooh, tell me about how fast you can run. I can run up to 30 miles per hour. Wow, that's really fast. I can go, I can go 30 miles an hour as well, Bolt. By foot, Captain, or in a car? No, I, I drive a rocket ship. Do you drive a rocket ship or do you fly a rocket well, I, ship? I fly a rocket ship. <laughs> Oh, and what about your big ears? Have you got really good hearing? Oh yeah, I can hear super duper anything. I can hear this. Can you hear this? Yeah, I can hear this. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you just about. Can you hear me now? Just. I didn't hear that. That's because I didn't say anything, Captain. I was having a little joke with you. <laughs> That's really funny. Look, Princess Arya. Princess Arya. I think I found my new sidekick. Well, it looks like you have indeed found your new... Oh, you were doing the voice the whole time. Uh, no, Captain, what are, you, what are you talking about? I couldn't do a flawless American accent like that. What, what did you... Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. There's, there's nobody there. I said I'm coming. There's, there's nobody there. Hello, I'm with Hannah, the educational manager at Bockett's Farm. Hello, Hannah. Hi. What's it like working at Bockett's Farm? Oh, I mean, on a day like today, pretty special. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> what? I, we should be sunbathing, not interviewing. We should. We should. Yes. Um, what's, how many animals have you got at the farm? Oh, loads. We're a working sheep farm, so we've got a flock, which is a group of sheep, of about 350 mummy sheep. They're the ewes. Wow. And then every year they give birth, so we end up with lots of lambs. We've got cows, we've got llamas, we've got alpacas, the goats, we've got all the small animals, the rats, the rabbits, the guinea pigs. Hundreds. Hundreds. Have you got chickens here? We do. Lots of chickens. Why are chickens so funny? Oh, I don't know. Why are chickens so funny? Because! Thank you. Okay, we need a fun farm in fact. A fun farm in fact. Give me a fun Ooh. farm in fact. Right, something we have to think about at this time of year is the amount of water that we can give to our animals because they all drink a lot. But did you know that a cow, mm. a single cow, can drink a bathtub worth of water every day? And we've got lots of cows. What? Why are you giving them bath water? <laughs> Just give them normal water, Anna. I don't want to tell you how to do your job or anything. Why did the sheep cross the road? I don't know. To get to the barber. <laughs> Topical because we're sheep shearing next week, so our entire flock is getting their hair cut. So there you go. That flowed nicely. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Woo! <laughs> okay, it's time for a captain versus. Today at Bucket's Farm, we're going to go around the go kart track. First person to go round once is the winner. You ready, Princess Aria? The question is, Captain, are you ready to lose? <laughs> oh, no, that's not fair. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, I didn't get myself a sidekick today, but it's probably for the best because animals need a lot of looking after and I'm going to leave that to the people like Hannah, the educational manager here at Bockett's Farm. <sighs> this is what victory feels like! I believe you are second place captain. Oh, it tasted so good! <laughs> wow, victory really does taste good! Anyway, unfortunately, Captain Fantastic lost the go-karting race so he gets a pie in his face. <laughs> and remember, stay, stay fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Here we go. Captain Fantastic here to save the day. Captain Fantastic. 